Gracious Father, we, as we approach your holy throne, we can do nothing without you. We are but a vessel, Lord Jesus, that has agreed to stand. Use us for your glory and your honor. Indeed, there's a word from the throne of grace. Holy Spirit, stand up inside of me. Speak a word indeed unto your people and unto me. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. From the book of 2 Timothy, verses, a text will be coming from verse 15. of the second chapter of Second Timothy. <laughs> and it tells us to study to show thyself approval under God. Wow. A workman needed not to be ashamed who rightly divided the word of truth. Right. Our subject for today will be meeting God's approval. Meeting God's approval. Amen. That does not say meet man's or right. your boss's, but meet God's approval. Right. Now there are many of us who work in the job trade. Or, and we found that on the assembly line, and when we put together a project, Assemble a part, it has to, before it can go to the producers or to the pro, as a product to be sold, it must be approved. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So when that stamp of approval is stamped on there, you know you've done a good work. All right. But if it's not approved, it's rejected and it goes back to the assembly line yeah. All right. All right. All right. to be reproved. Uh -huh. We have uh, many things that we need to prove in the church. Well, you know that your program, our recommendations, our proposals, if you do not meet the leader's proposal, our pastor, it goes back to the assembly line. All right. It must be approved before it can be presented. The Bible tells us, many are called, but few are chosen. <coughs> Timothy was chosen. Paul was chosen. Right. And even though he's giving Timothy his approval, Paul is now uh, in prison, and he's writing a letter to Timothy. Mm -hmm. And he's telling Timothy as a young preacher, to stir up the gift that is already inside of him. To get ready to move out into position. Paul grieves that he is now in prison and no longer are able to move about as he had been. But he's now even in worse condition because he's not in a house where he can move about and freedom and people are able to come to him. But he is in a dungeon. He's chained. But yet, Paul says, by these chains, I, I may be chained, but the gospel is not. Right. In other words, I still have to preach the gospel regardless of yeah. my situation, regardless to what is going on around me. Brother Timothy, I might not be able to get and move and go what I want, but you're going to be my mouthpiece. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to meet the requirements yeah. first of God. Yes. Yeah. Now, sometimes, like Charlie the Tuna, we look good, right. and we speak good, but we're not ready yet. Right. And so we must wait on our approval of God. Remember, we are clay pots, and we are still on the spindle. Uh -huh. And on being on the spindle, God is rotating us. He's molding and he's shaping us until we become that vessel that God wants us to be. Now, if you can't be the beautiful vase that sits on the table or in the corner, you can be a beautiful teacup. Yeah. But however, you've got to be approved before 
you are put on the slate. Like the example and the analogy Pastor Yu used when he came and he preached about uh, the, the disciples being on board the ship. And he said that sometimes we need to stay in place. Because it's not that we don't have the power to step off, but sometimes God wants us to remain where we are and do the work that we need to do in that position. Okay. Our pastor preached the message that we need to get out of the boat. Yeah. And indeed, sometimes we need to move from one position to the other because getting out of the boat doesn't mean you leave what you're instructed to do, but we need to launch out into the deep. Yeah. We need to go a little deeper. Okay. Yeah. We need to dig a little deeper yeah. before we become that finished work. Right. Have you been high five and sometimes they play a trick on you they'll put the hand up high and you go to slap that says too high then they'll bring it down and you go to slap it and they'll snatch it back and say too low and then they'll stick it out this way you can can hit it and then they'll snatch it back and say too slow so sometimes we are too slow sometimes we are high too high and god can't use us we got to to humility and be humble before God to be approved to go forward. And sometimes you're just too slow moving. God wants us to be ready to move out whenever he calls us to move forward. Hallelujah. We need to be in the game and ready to move out. And Paul is saying this to Timothy. I'm getting ready now to be offered up. You see, I've already been approved. And my approval was done under the master's robe. A long time ago when I studied the theology and the liturgical works of God, when I sat at the feet of the Maldi, God was getting me ready to be able to move out. When I studied uh, seven different languages and I learned those languages fluently, you see, God was preparing me. And we're on the Damascus Road and I got converted when he knocked me from my beast. And when I had to stay in the desert, the Arabian desert, and I had to learn of God and when I spent 15 days with Peter hallelujah you see I was learning about God and I was ready then he said when I got through with all of that I was ready to move forward and when I thought that I had the position that I needed to be in I wanted to go back and preach the word to Jerusalem and God says uh, you can go ahead and preach but when I found that I was being rejected God said I got a word for you brother Peter brother Paul I'm going to send you to the Gentile nation, the very nation that you do not want to go to. But God must put his approval on what we do. Oh, he know, he knew what he was saying to Brother Timothy. He said, Brother Timothy, from a child, you have learned the scripture. Some of you in here, have a, as a child, have learned the scripture. I hear this young man say, he came just to this church when he was young. He was being trained from a child to know the work of God. Ah, you may be in the military. Praise be to God, but you are approved. Hallelujah to speak the word of God if you have learned it. But you see, there's more to just learning. You see, some days ago, Pastor asked that. He called for some volunteers and he did it again this morning of evangelism. Hallelujah. In our, our, our convention, it told the theme for this year was um, defining. A time of defining. And we were to, to witness, instruct, and nurture. A time for defining witness. And this is a time to define witness in our life when you are called to be an evangelist. To evangelize. But you see, there's something you got to do before you are proved to go forward. You got to study, as Paul says, to show yourself approval under God. And that means sometimes we got to dig deeper into the Word of God. We got to go deeper than just coming to Sunday school. We got to go deeper into God's Word and study what is it that is down in there that we need to, to nurture and bring up. All right, all right. Paul says, do 
your best. To present yourself unto God as one approved workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. And that means not to sing what you want to say or doing what you want to do, but the moving by the power of the Holy Spirit. In this society and in this world that we live in today, can you stand up and be a bold witness for Christ? We spoke this morning about God approving of a community. He needs a community that can stand. Ah, oh, we got government in, in Washington that can't come together. We can't get our Republican people to come together. We need a community that can approve and stand on God's word. John testified, said that which is from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, our hands have handled the word of life. Have you had that experience? Now, you might not have walked as John walked with Christ, but do you have the Spirit of God within you? You see, you got to have gone through some things in this life. You have to be tested by fire. You have to have some pain and hurt in your life. You've had to have some disappointment. And you have had to have some victory to be able to testify of the man Jesus Christ and be able to say, I know a man that can deliver you. Oh, we have to stand. Therefore, Paul was one approved, and he said, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, as we beseech you today through the word of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Not a dead one. Don't wait till you die for somebody to testify of how good you live, but then present your body a living sacrifice. Live for Christ. Suffer for him. In the reading of the lesson that says that we have to suffer with Christ to be able to reign with him. Oh, he asked the disciples, oh yes, they wanted to sit on one on the right and one on the left. We want to sit in the high places of God. But are we willing as he asks us, can you drink of the cup that I drink of? Oh, don't worry about where you're going to sit. Worry about how you're going to work. Christ came to be a servant unto us, and he served us well. He died for us. And we would have this right. Oh, yes. People find it difficult to articulate their beliefs and values. What can help us to hope be bold witnesses to win? Oh, yes. A defining moment. This is a defining moment to win somebody to Christ. To come to be an evangelist. This is your moment in time. God is calling somebody. Hallelujah. You're standing in the gap. Hallelujah. And the approval has been put upon you to go forth. Pastor gives the message as, as, as God has given it to him. Come forth now. That you might go forward. The experience of a workman moves Christians to a deeper understanding of what we believe. And by going deeper into the word, hallelujah, you will know more about God. Oh, we spoke this morning also about uh, knowing the power and the love of God. You can't, I cannot comprehend. I cannot explain God's love, but I know, hallelujah, that it goes far beyond my comprehension of all the things and the way we live and how we behave and how we react situation, but yet God loves us. Yeah. yeah, he continues to let the sun shine upon you. He let the rain fall upon you. God continues to bless us. When will we stand as bold witnesses for Christ? Christ met his disciples on that day on the boat fishing, he said, have you any meat? Have you any meat? Have you a word? Have you any encouragement? Have you any love for someone else? 